And back now to that bizarre story from the Netherlands. It seems someone might have tried to ram a car into a bus carrying the Dutch royal family. Four bystanders were killed. Guy Thornton can give us more. He's a freelance journalist in, in Amsterdam. And Guy, how did the car manage to enter the parade area? Well, uh, this is what the, the puzzle is in a way. You say it's bizarre, it is bizarre. The whole area was co is cordoned off. It does appear that the car had first approached um, one of the entry points of the cordon and been refused entry by the police. It had then went away and it then, via another road, went at about 70 kilometers an hour, this black Suzuki. It ran through two barriers. And the, cr and the crowd of people who were, who were stood there waiting for the royal bus to come along um, hit, 20, hit 23 people, um, some of whom were just touched, others were lightly injured, more seriously injured, and then of course some were the immediate and then later fatalities. Um, the police are saying that it was deliberate, um, that appears to be the case. There was a report of a second person who jumped out of the vehicle just before it hit the barriers. Um, but what the motives are re re remains a puzzle. Whether it was, a, whether it was aimed at the, at the bus or anyone else, um, what they are saying that it was not, a ter they do not think it is a terrorist action. So it remains a puzzle. They, they, they have got the driver, the driver of the vehicle. He was a, he's, a, he's a 30 year old white Dutchman. Um, as far as I can tell at the moment, there's no psychiatric. Um, uh, men mental problems, he's got no criminal record. Um, they are searching his home, but there's no reports that anything has been found. Okay, and so how many people w were killed? How many people were hurt in the incident? They, there were 23 people, 21, 21 were injured, but some were, some were only scratches. At the moment, there are eight pe people who've got minor wounds. Uh, five people with serious wounds, and there are four fatalities. Um, one was reported um, immediately as, uh, as being dead, and you could, you could see a body was being covered with, with a white sheet. The other, the, the other, the other three are presumably people who were, who were, who were seriously injured, um, who have died in hospital. Um, they were people on the or the, the injured were having to be reanimated, so it, it could well be, it's probably these people who are, who are now the, the further fatalities. And, and how's the royal, the, fa the royal Dutch family uh, reacting to this? We saw, I, I believe it was one member of the family covering her face uh, kind of in horror as, as, as she and the others were watching the scene uh, unfold. Or, well, not, ju not just one, several of them were. But the, the bus had just gone, like, just gone around the corner, and so they, they, they saw this happening, certainly, uh, um, a lot of the females, as well as as well as the men, were were, were, covered, were as, you, as you say, they were hands to the mouth and just just reacting in shock. They, they just immediately went to the royal palace, uh, to Low, um, where they went. There was then a, a pause, but it was reported the rest of the activities in Appledorn for the for the Queen's day today were being cancelled. Not immediately, they're going to be run down slowly because there's so many people in the town. But um, but certainly anything else involved in involving their own family um, was cancelled because there should have been a parade later on this afternoon. Um, the royal family have reacted and they're extremely shocked and concerned by what has happened. Um, the Queen has, has been on television and broadcast expressing her condolences to the injured and particularly to the, the, family, the families of the deceased. And they're in, they're in shock, shocked and concerned. And, equally perplexed as the, the rest of the people are. Hmm. All right, Guy Thornton, uh, thanks very much. We appreciate this.